Hey there, YouTubers. Uh, anyways, this is my second video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys my high lift. So this is a uh, fairly custom to me a high lift. Um, this is actually the Hilux kit. Um, now, as you can see, this is not your standard Hilux. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this body off for you, and you can see what we're running here. First, maybe I'll show you the body here. I don't like to give away too many of my secrets. I am fairly new to the hobby, so I guess you could call me a noob. Um, but anyways, I'm going on, uh, it's close to two years, so this is all... Um, this is a Proline 1980 Chevy pickup body. I guess it's supposed to be a Blazer. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't think Proline really knew what they were supposed to look like. Um, now I've had to do a fair bit of cutting on this body, and I've put light buckets in it. Um, so, anyways, it does in fact have uh, um, full working lights. Um, quite a few scratches on it. So. Um, you guys give me a second here I'm gonna plug the lights in is the first thing we'll do and I'll show you how the lights work okay guys so there we go we got um, oops, sorry it's shining on the camera pretty bright there but anyways that's a um, um, an RC four-wheel drive Moavi um, lighting kit um, they have it on their website there it's great kit I really really like it um, honestly I wouldn't buy any other lights I've had a terrible strain of LED failures, <laughs> um, whether I've tugged the wires off on something or or blowing bulbs or you know you blow a bulb from a bad crash but uh, anyways just wanted to show you guys the light so now we're gonna move on to the rest of the truck alright guys so uh, basically what you're looking at here uh, this is a stock motor um, this is a 27 turn comes with a kit um, honestly, you know what? It works pretty well for a stock motor. Um, you know, this truck's had a lot of runs on it, a lot of batteries gone through it, and boy, that that motor has you know pretty decent power. I mean, it, it could be a lot better, but you know, if you're just new and getting into the hobby, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the stock motor that comes with the high lift. If you ask me, I mean, I'm pretty aggressive with my trail rigs. Um, it's held up quite well. Um, I believe it's got a 16 tooth pinion on it. Um, I'm coupled with a uh, with a Novak Goat. Uh, I try to run the Goat 3S and everything that I have. Uh, they're getting quite hard to find now. Um, but this basically here is uh, this is where we house the Goat. Now this is not waterproof. It is fairly water resistant. I I don't want this truck waterproofed. All I wanted to do was just basically keep the snow off my ESC so this does the job for that this is actually great um, there it is if you're running it in a box like this you need to make sure you undo the fan otherwise uh, you'll harm your ESC so the fan is just on this small little wire right there and uh, mine is undone now guys one thing you have to worry about is heat so basically what I do is in the summertime if it's warm out I leave this lid open just like that strap my body on um, this does not it's not affected at all it's just fine open like that um, it's great it works quite well um, I've got my receiver because I couldn't fit it in this receiver box so my receiver is actually in this uh, this is a Traxxas box and um, basically what I'm running for a receiver is the uh, um, running the DX5 Spectrum with the uh, honestly you guys I really apologize I can't remember which receiver I'm using in here and anyways I, I'm not taking it out it's quite a lot of work to get the receiver out to show you um, it's not really important it does work um, so right now we're we're all live um, the stock steering setup on this truck sucks um, to say the least I don't care for it um, but uh, you know it's a great truck real good trail rig it's a lot of fun 
got uh, hot bodies 2.2 um, super narrow rims I believe these are guys uh, these are RC four-wheel drive mud slinger tires um, awesome tire great tire I've got the uh, d40 axles from RC four-wheel drive in here um, as you can see they're they're fairly scratched up um, you know I I use this truck a lot um, awesome truck I really like the Tamiya stuff um, yeah so other features this truck's got I've got a um, Bulldog 9300 XT winch on the front and I've got a Bulldog 9300 XT on the back now what I've done to hook these winches up is I've actually uh, I've hooked them together I don't know if you can see that there um, that is part of the Y cable so this winch basically is dead at the moment and what I've done is I've hooked it to a switch underneath here okay so when I turn that switch off and she's dead now on the back I've gone ahead and I've put a switch on right there okay so why I've put those switches on is I found with these um, bulldog winches that they were constantly coming out of adjustment and and you know my my cable would be wrapping around the drum and just getting tangled up in a knot while I was driving and you know I couldn't hear it going so uh, anyways I got sick of that and uh, you know they give you this little screw adjuster on the uh, winch control which I've actually plastic dipped that over and I've sealed that up because I'm done with trying to get these set up and uh, you know and keep it from from tangling if you have one of these winches or three racing winch I strongly recommend putting it on a switch so you can just reach down flick the switch on your winch is live when you're done winching you know you just turn the switch off and you can trail ride no more problems at all it's actually probably the best modification that I've done um, so that being said uh, let's keep looking at the truck here um, so on the front as you can see I've got this uh, um, it's a tough armor uh, bumper from RC four wheel drive so this is actually made for the SCX 10 um, anyways I've got the little scale clevises on there um, yeah so this bumper fits right on my Hilux with a couple of somewhat crude spacers um, but it bolts it bolts right to the frame um, now the stock body will not fit back on with this bumper setup uh, no problem I'm running the uh, like I say I'm running the, the pro line the, uh, the pro line 1980 Chevy body um, now something else that these trucks have is is the motor that right inside there is the Tamiya three-speed transmission so we've got the truck upside down here now one thing I didn't do is I didn't turn the switch on there so now we have our switch turned on so let's try a bit of first gear here, guys. This stupid thing caught in there. You can see this winch line getting caught in there, too. But, um, basically, let's try to show my remote and see if you can hear the, the sound of the truck. So that's first gear. Second gear. 
that's third gear. Third sticks on me a little bit, guys. I had to make this template, and it was, you know, it was quite a nasty thing to make, and I really very rarely use third gear. I mean, this truck doesn't have a whole lot of power with the stock motor to turn third gear. The biggest reason, though, is it just it eats the battery so fast. Um, like, really, really fast. So, uh, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys my uh, high lift. I'm going to do some more videos soon. Um, I'm going to upload a couple more uh, that I've got done already. I've got several Tamiya trucks. I've got a 2012 Bruiser that I'll show you, and it's fairly custom. Um, there's a Dodge bodied CR01 that I'm going to show you. It's a, the Bruiser and it are actually a friend of mine, so. Um, but I will give you a good breakdown of those videos, um, and I will do a video on my CR01, as you saw in my previous video. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, you can look it up on my channel, or it's called uh, Fun in the Tamiya CR01, Fun in the Snow with Chains on. So, um, anyways, uh, I appreciate you guys watching my video. If you guys could give me a subscribe, that would be great. Um, and uh, I'm gonna fire the body back on this and I think I might do a bit of a running video but um, anyways YouTube that's it for today so uh, we'll see you next time thank you